Okay, Ben. So today we're going to have a look at circuit planning, and we're going to sort of take what you already know as a power pilot uh, into the gliding world. Now. As you look at the circuit, you'll see that there are many, many common similarities, but actually we've got a few differences as well. So first of all, high key and low key, which are sort of terms taken out of the uh, military. Um, the high key area is where we start our circuit, and that really depends on how much sort of uh, tailwind we'll have during the downwind leg and how much height we've got. So uh, today we'll start the high key, hopefully about eight to 900 feet at the upwind end of the airfield. We'll fly on the downwind leg, checking the landing area, selecting our reference points, uh, which is where once we come down to the ground, we're gonna to look to flare. And that reference points will be in line with the low key area, which is where we must have our approach speed on by. Now, I think with today's conditions, the approach speed is probably gonna be about 55 to 60 knots. Now, the diagonal leg is something that is pretty new to you. And the, the reason that's there is to keep the airfield in view, but also to allow us to adjust sort of how much height we have for the final turn. Now you'll see there, final turn height probably about 300 feet. So if we're all doing okay, we might need to take a sort of 25, 30 degree cut onto that diagonal uh, just to continue uh, to keep the circuit nice and spaced before going onto the base leg and then onto the final uh, approach before we uh, get to 300 feet. Now if we're a bit high, we can widen out that diagonal leg and give ourselves a bit more space. If we get a bit low, then we can just bring the circuit in a little bit just to make sure that we get onto that final turn at 300 feet. We finished off the brief with a discussion about the airfield layout at Lasham, key points to watch out for on the ground, along with the key points in the air, discussing the use of the FLAM and the UDI. Finally, we covered the local airspace and the operating training areas before jumping back in the fault for my second gliding lesson. Cool. Okay, fantastic. Ready to release brake. Bugger break on again, quick run up. The engines will be fairly warm anyway. Fat. Okay, fantastic. So, pre takeoff check trim is set for takeoff, mixture choke is off. Max set on both, cow flaps so over. Rolling back. On content sufficient. Your DI hello, set. Hello. Other fashion. Yeah. It's going to change again in two minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit wobbly on this. Hatch is secure, harness secure. I firm. Tail wheel is locked, controls are full and free. Yeah. Emergency yeah. brief again. If a uh, problem on the ground, uh, bringing the airplane to a stop and land ahead if it's safe to do so. If we're in the air, uh, up to about 500 feet where we will turn back uh, into wind, 60 knots uh, to land, 180 back on the airfield. Right, okay, so after takeoff, we're going to go into a left hand circuit. And uh, I'm going to uh, off right for the first couple of minutes just to get it into a position where we're in a reasonable place for a glider circuit. Happy. And we will have a wind coming from the right throughout, so, or from the north. So, yeah, it will be a case of uh, slightly different to last time. So, we'll do a circuit, we'll do a couple of circuits left. We will not get too close, we'll go missed approach, and then we'll climb back out. I'll just keep, we have to give way to gliders with this thing, so yeah. Okay. Cool. Happy. Okay, if you want to release the brake. Brake on. Flash him, uh, golf pedal x-ray is departing runway 27 into the circuit. Okay, we've got uh, intense gliding operations, cables on the ground at this time. That's no problem for us, uh, I'm sure I'll find a way around it. Okay, everything's looking good, tail's in the air, follow through.
one joining. Yeah, one joining. So yeah, we'll do a couple of standard circuits. I'll just hand over to you and I'll just critique uh, on uh, on where we're getting. It'll with be a engine, long way. With the engine spinning, it's sort of very similar to a K13, if not a K21. Okay, so you have control. Just I maintain control. this turn. Just keep about 50 knots on. And as we come around the turn, we'll be sort of ready to join the circuit. Obviously, if you're a little bit high in a glider, um, you're not going to want to just fly straight into the circuit. You might want to just do a few sort of turns just before the, uh, the downwind leg. I know Rush is trying to see if the motion wanted to go a bit further to the north under those clouds. Remember, 50 knots don't lower significantly the nose. That's a bit of a... Yeah, GA. GA thing, I should say. <laughs> okay, so yeah, 50 knots. Good. Trims all the way back, fuel pumps on. Better use my right hand on the stick, I'm not yep. going to use the thrust, I suppose yep. I'll, I'll be using So, it no need to use that, I'll look after this, just to simulate a normal gliding circuit. So, where's the wing coming from? Uh, north at the moment. North, so that's from over there. So, we're going to need to fly the circuit tighter or wider? Tighter. Good. I feel like I've got my nose into wind, but I'm still kind of track progressing that way, really. Yeah. One north side, late downwind. Yep. So, where are we in relation to the high key area at the moment? Uh, we're currently nearly perfectly at high key 800 feet at the start. Yep, good. And what speed are we going to want to fly at the moment? Uh, best lift drag, so 50 knots, and 50. then by the time we get to low key, it's going to 60. That's probably your next question, wasn't it? Sorry, <laughs> mate. <laughs> Stolen my thunder. Alright. So looking at that, you're quite busy at the moment. Obviously we're not going to be landing off of this, but if we were, uh, there's an area in the first 300 metres we could use from the 2 cent threshold if we landed it short. After that, you've got quite a big glider, which is a bit in the way, plus a towing glider back on the south side over the pan, and you've got two more which have landed quite long down the airfield. So yeah, so you're a bit limited, and it's a car yeah. driving. And so it's likely in this case that, because we've got to go into wind, it's going to be quite a tight diagonal. So yeah. remember, before you go on to that though, what do we need? Uh, 60 knots now. Good. Garfield Electra is left base 27 south side, low approach, go around, the visual of the winch will remain clear. Roger, uh, Hey, so yeah, we're on that diagonal. Looking... Probably a bit wide. Yeah, and we're going to want to, let, let's say we're going to choose the area near the 27 thresholds to Top land. This is about right. The middle of the landing area, which you should see very shortly. go on to the approach shortly. I'm just going to replicate just about where we've got a little bit of lift here. It's about now. Okay, that's good. That's about your 300 feet. Okay. Let's go on the left and the right. Okay, right. that's fine. Right. Okay, I have control, we'll go yeah, around from there. Got the electric going around, uh, we'll be turning south. Roger. Got you visually. Yes, well, thanks. Exactly positive on exactly where my aiming point, uh, sorry, okay, well, reference point should have been, just in regards to what was on the ground. Yeah, so in that one, I think what we'll do is we'll say it's in that area just near the 2-7 threshold. Okay. That works, that yeah. would probably work. 
Yeah, I didn't know the etiquette of using that and then still flying out the gliders. Yeah. That's why I went slightly left. That's fine. No, you did exactly right there. They do um, welcome a good lookout for yeah. aircraft, don't they? Yeah, yeah but you can always see what's going on. It looks like I did a bit of a 45. Yeah, the base leg sort of became amalgamated into one. That was just because we were a little bit uh, sort of on the low side. Oh, so I wasn't okay. too surprised with that. Uh, the crosswind makes it quite tricky to do an accurate circuit like that. But we'll do one more on this side. So, you have control? I have control. So just can make, continue the turn again. And we'll give it another crack. Lifted sync will obviously affect the circuits, uh, well, much like it would uh, when you're in a powered aeroplane, other than the fact you'll just notice it more. Yeah. In this, so sync is obviously our biggest enemy. Yeah, preference point again, sort of in the 27 threshold, but just by the numbers. Copy. And I'll get you just to talk me through sort of what you can see going on in the landing yeah, area. Hotel, my name is Guthrie again. Um, so, south side, we've got uh, one glider that's being uh, collected sort of midway down, a bit further down, that other guy's. Uh, still there, and uh, we've got one chap landing now, south side, who's yep. so I need to be assessing, depending on where he lands, yep. updating my reference point. Yep. And I can't see any other winch south side or anything like that. Oh, so sorry, it's a tug landing, wasn't it? There you go. Uh, going a bit tighter in this time, the wind. Generally speaking, you don't need to be within the airfield perimeter when doing a circuit. Copy. Learning the variables. Yeah, this thing, thing is it. just tricky with the wind. Yeah, so it's a good day to learn with a crosswind. It makes yeah. it hard. Yeah, you are learning. It's a high key, 800 feet, looking okay. Thank you, good spot. Thanks, Russell. I could now land uh, beyond that glider and uh, between the runway and where yeah. the other guys are. Okay. So I'm going to aim for the 2-7 uh, threshold, yep. uh, but between them. Yep, OK. This is etiquette. That's what's... That's, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, you c uh, generally always better to be slightly further away from the runway than close to it, because you can see there's a yellow tug about to tow that glider Got it. Uh, there. So, yeah, it, if there's not much of a choice, then it's always better to land slightly away from the runway just to give the space. And you can see, I bet that K-13 is going to tow back to the launch point from there. Um, uh, they so don't always take a direct, the best, the most safe routing. So you could argue coming further this time is going to be better. So yeah. accelerating to 60 for low key. Carpet electrode is down with left hand, 27 for low approach. Go around again, we're just doing some circuit practice, Brass. One aerotow just lifted and uh, otherwise no other track. Sure. Cheers. So I was keeping command. Yeah, running it low again. Yep. Turning a bit earlier this time. Close the brakes and hand the controls over to me. Copy. So continue, continue, continue. I have control, close yeah, the brakes. Control. Back for the turbine to slow level there. Yeah, a little bit there. OK, 
Okay, so I'm now going to demonstrate a modified circuit. Have we everything so far? I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, just the, it's just the etiquette of yeah. where and when. Yeah. But that, I'm just going to pick that up over time, so yeah. that's the only thing at the minute, but yeah. yeah. Happy. Okay, so we're going to join the circuit here. Potentially we've been soaring out to the uh, southwest, but actually the thermal hasn't particularly worked too well. So we're going into the circuit. So I'm going to still keep it best glide. The angle uh, looks right at the moment, but best to just see how that angle gets on as we continue down the downwind leg. Yeah, so arguably we're 10 feet lower than we want to be, yeah. so... Get the wind so it may, it's almost direct crosswind. Perfect. Okay, oh, yeah, we have five knots more speed, please? Okay. So we're getting here, the angle's getting a little bit shallower, not significantly yet, but we can start to see that we're looking ahead of the rest of the circuit. We're probably we're at 500 feet now, but the angle doesn't look particularly great. We're not going to be able to get around the whole circuit. So let's put our speed on now, because we've got, if we've got speed in hand, I always say speed is life, altitude is life insurance. Got it. You can see there's a winch going up, so we just need to keep clear of that. So, 60 knots. Yeah, then, it's nice and clear now. <laughs> Go ahead, left tray, left base, uh, 27, modified circuit vision of a winch. Oh, it's doing a low level launch failure. Exciting, that was. Yeah. Okay, so, a bit of distraction there, but we're coming in, we're getting down to 300 feet now. That glider's landed there too. So we'll turn round. We're too low to get round the circuit, so we choose the new landing area that's in front of us. And as you can see, we'll make a safe landing but slightly further up the airfield. Copy. Okay. Uh, any questions? No, so you yeah, just have the confidence to cut in if you need yeah. to, you know. And uh, better to make that decision earlier rather than later, because quite often you may be following a very high performance slide around the circuit, and you're in a K13 or this. Yeah. The engine off. I'm going to pass um, Lee. I'll leave the rest of you if any. And it's quite easy oh. to just sort of uh, sort of go, well, oh, I'll keep following, keep following. I don't want to cut them up. To, and by the time you have to cut them up, they're turning as well. So better to turn inside somebody early than do it late. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just trying to work, yeah, just learn the variables of what to do and when, yeah. and, and you yeah. know, obviously safety first, and if you're going to have to make a decision, just do it, really. Okay, you have control again. I have control. So, don't necessarily completely replicate that, it's just a case of do whatever you think is sensible at the right time. Copy. Yeah, so I think like slightly wide, so I'm going to start to cut in um, ever slightly. At the moment, you're pretty good actually, you've got uh, only a couple of knots of sync, so everything's going well. Yeah, I'm almost at a nice hiking. It's on a bit of a hill, isn't it, really? Yeah, oh yeah, we're 600 feet above uh, ground level. But you can probably see through the complexity of the airfield setup uh, why it can be tricky for somebody who's never been to a gliding club yeah, before yeah. to understand. Because, like, there we're considering, right, there's a cable in the air. Uh, where are you going to get that? And you've got buggies and, and stuff driving around. It does work, everybody's just keeping their head out, and that's why we've got nice cockpits. So it's one glider sort of midway down. Uh, we could land this side uh, yeah. of that. Uh, nothing else going on? Nope, seems all good at the moment. I'm starting to get a bit low here, now I am. I'm going to start to accelerate to 60. Actually, you get into a position now where I'm almost thinking of going that yeah, right round there. You've got to make a decision fairly quick. Yeah, so I'm going left and I'm going to aim at the tug on the right of the 757 when you yeah. step in the wind stop. 
Okay. Cuphead left shay is just a uh, completely low level circuit just over the black hanger. I'll we'll probably go for ab right now. Lots okay, yep, go for it. Continue, 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 continue. I have control. Yeah, Brakes closed. Brakes are closed. Yeah, so that picture then, if I'd have left it much longer. Yeah, you can see how quickly the situation could change. to the south, we'll just have a look at a field while we've got the time. Yeah, we're doing okay, aren't we? Oscar Yankee, Benoit, Electra, just uh, below you, about 500 feet. Visual change from much wide now slightly. So you can't see the rope. Okay, you have control. I have control. Just this way, we'll uh, climb up to about 1500 feet and I'll just find out what the latest farm q and is. Way at Bravo 2. Automatic. Surface wind 360 degrees 0, 08 knots. Oh. Visibility 10 km or more. Cloud overcast 3800 feet. Temperature plus 21. Dew point plus 14. QNH 1023. Farber ground is closed. As you will go, we'll go to uh, 2,000 feet. Uh, okay. It felt more normal travelling that air right? If I yep. let the spoiler on final, then I, I could understand the picture a little bit more. Yeah, good. In fact, we can come round uh, actually onto south now, and we'll we'll go for 80 knot cruise. Yep, level there, and I can see the airstrip. It flies very nose down this thing in a straight line. If you go at 80 knots. Louise. For good forward visibility though. Yeah. You can just see it at the 11 o'clock. Oh yeah, got it. Yeah, we're going to be operating, um, to it, 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 I think it's 0523, so we'll operate 05. We'll go into being a glider now. more common. It's oh. about 300 metres long. This is a random strip then, is it? and no based aircraft? No based aircraft, no. Oh, it's very random. Yeah, it's just owned by some bike light lot, who uh, don't mind us sort of uh, having a look at the Flash from Radio Golf, Echo Golf, Golf. Actually, so much stuff. Golf, Golf, here, Uh, I'll enter it. It's pointless because I don't know how what AGL that is. So um, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't either. matter. No, there'll be. This is the circuit that altimeter. Yeah, this will help you a little bit on here, AGL. Yeah, wow. But don't rely on it. Fun for AGL. <laughs> <laughs> the main thing is we're going to go right down towards the ground, and I want to make sure that we definitely going to get onto that strip, Ben. Copy. We're going to get in, sir. I won't let you down. So it's slightly tighter at the moment, I'd say we have the height, um, so I can just extend on the 45 ever so slightly. Okay. Obviously this time as well, we're from the north, we have the wind pushing us round. Approaching a low key-ish, sorry to... to the 45, which I'll be widening out slightly. The aircraft just backtracking at the other strip here, there's a Tiger Moth. Got it. 
Which one's that? What's that? That's West Tisted. It's a thousand metres long of grass. We'll have a quick look, but they're a bit more noise sensitive. Would you say you're about too high, too low, about right? Uh, I say I'm becoming about right. Okay. I'm going to start to come onto base now. I have the trend towards being high. Yep. Getting blown round. is the start of it. Looks good for about there, so... Yeah. And light aircraft just above. Copy, so I'm going to think a bit short, potentially. It's on the centre line, is it? Come a little bit of air break out. Okay, I have control. You have control. I break in. Okay, yeah, I said probably a bit on the um, uh, undershooting just at the end there. You have to reduce the brake quite a lot. What we want to do, what we'll do in the next circuit, I just want to see that done, but with um, just a bit uh, sort of more time before you close the brakes. So let's uh, sorry, rephrase that. I want to see it, that you're not having to be forcibly closing the brakes closer to the ground because obviously that just puts the glide a little bit less stable. Got it, yeah. Happy. It's just been able to learn the picture, isn't it? Yeah. The sight pitch is different on the grass from where, because I was high and then I got myself low really, so I probably took too much of a cut out. Yeah. Turning around or vacating, or so. No, I think he's turning around. Okay, you have control. I have control. Do more of a continuous turn. Yep. A bit higher here than last time. Okay. Let's travel the air brake there. We're sorry. So yeah, if you're under shooting, put the brakes away and then re-establish brakes when you need them. I have control. You have control. Turn right. Go out that way. Past the wires. Yeah. yeah, so I felt like I was using the air brake more positively then, as opposed to just going full air brake and then all the way in. So, so I was higher on that one. Yeah, which, no, which obviously, if I was low on the first, 
but yeah, might get high in a second. Right, we'll make our way back to Lashim. I'll include sort of field landing stuff, we'll just do that tomorrow morning. Yeah, cool. Enjoy it? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's interesting. Obviously I'm annoyed with daily on both of them. <laughs> but um yeah. I just motor along at this height at about eighty knots, but a lot like Tiger Mark. Where's that? Uh, you spotted it or not? No, I'm just checking it all quick. Uh, the that's why I went out to the south. Oh yeah, nice. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll we'll go and rejoin the circuit. I'll take you back into the position where we would uh, we would glide. Oh, not again! Oh, why does this keep happening? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you have control. I have control, sir. We'll just see if we have to do a modified circuit, that's a modified circuit. And I need to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to turn around now. I'll lose height and turn, I'll, we should hopefully be alright on hiking. Okay, so it's looking clear to the north. Uh, there is, uh, looks like a glide's going to be towed across um, at some point. So, approaching low key at 13 to 60. On to the 45 about now. A little bit more confidence in the finals turn. There isn't much of a base with the wind. No. Clear into North going south like quite a bit tow. Let's watch the drift around the corner. Different points going beneath the nose, travelling spoilers. Probably a bit high. Yeah. Hey. Not nice those trees are they? No. Okay, I have control. You have control. Uh, yeah, so I ended up getting a bit higher, but I didn't know how much. Well, it's just an amp to learn it. I don't think it was horrendous, but I, was, I used full air brake. Sorry, spoiler. Um, it landed slightly long, but it wasn't horrendous, I don't think. No, I think, I think that was uh, fine. Yeah, good word. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't good, it was definitely fine. <laughs> They're changing runways at the moment. Which will, uh, yeah, it felt, there you go. It felt a bit tailwindy. Yeah, they're going to 05, which is very rarely used. So there we go, we might have some interesting footage from down there. But we'll see what we can uh, do, even if uh, we might even, if, if the opportunity presents itself, do a winch launch. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> 